For this lesson, you need to open the sample file Transactions 6 from your sample files folder. I'm going to begin this lesson by removing all existing fields and filters from the pivot table. Sometimes you'll want to completely clear all filters and fields and start again. To do that, I'm going to click inside the pivot table to activate it and then Pivot Table Tools on the ribbon, Analyze, and in the Actions group, Clear. And then I'll select Clear All. And when I click Clear All, notice that all four of the windows at the bottom right of the Pivot Table field list are now empty. And the Pivot Table is also empty. Now I'm going to display the total and quantity values for each genre. To do that, I'll select Genre, in the Pivot Table Fields list, and also Quantity and Total. Now I'd like to format the values in columns B and C, so that I show a comma separator in column B, and a comma separator and two decimal places in column C. You learned how to do this in Lesson 5.1. So I click anywhere in column B, right-click and Number Format in the Category, I'll choose Number, and for the decimal places, 0, and I'll show a comma separator, and click OK to apply that format. Now column C, almost the same thing, right-click on any value, Number Format, Number on the left, two decimal places is good this time, and a 1000 separator. Now I'm happy with the values, but the labels in row 4 don't look very descriptive. So I'll click in cell A4 and type Genre to replace Row Labels. Then Sales Quantity, and instead of Sum of Total, I'll have Total Sales. I'm now quite happy with the appearance of the pivot table. Now I'd like to add the ability to filter my pivot table by Genre and by Customer. In Lesson 5.7, you saw how filtering could be done using Report Filter fields. But this time, you'll implement the filters using slicers. Unlike Report Filter fields, slicers show which filters are in place when a multiple item filter is applied. Slicers are also very useful for designing touchscreen user interfaces for tablet personal computers. So let's add our two slicers. I click anywhere inside the Pivot Table, then it's Pivot Table Tools Analyze on the ribbon, and in the Filter group, Insert Slicer. And the Insert Slicers dialog allows me to enter as many slicers as I need. But I only want to filter by Genre and by Customer. I click OK, and my slicers are inserted. I'm now going to move and format the slicers so that they have an attractive appearance. First I'll move the Customer Slicer out of the way. I'll line up the Genre Slicer with the top of the Pivot Table. And I'll make it about deep enough to contain two fields and quite wide. Well, as you can see, I can only see two fields in a scrolling list. But if I make each field narrower, I might be able to fit all of my fields into this box. To do that, I make sure I've clicked on the Genre Slicer to select it, then it's Slicer Tools Options on the ribbon, and in the Buttons group, you can see at the moment I'm only showing one column. Let's start incrementing that. Two columns, three, four, five, six, and at six I can see all of my genres. Now let's do a similar thing for Customers. I'll move Customers beneath Genres, and then I'll make this slicer the same width as the Genre Slicer, and deep enough to accommodate all of my customers. Now I'll do the same thing I did for slicers. Columns 1, reduce 2, 3, 4. I think 4 is a bit too much. I'm seeing too many ellipses. So I'll go back to 3, and I think that's a good compromise. So I'll resize the slicer box. And I've now given my slicers an attractive appearance. I think the bottom slicer isn't quite lined up with the top. It is now. 
Now let's filter the pivot table so that I only see sales in the Action Genre. So I simply click the Action button in the Genre Slicer. And I can now see that, in total, I've sold 4,699 DVDs in the Action Genre. Now I'd like to know how many DVDs did I sell to CineFocus DVD in the Action Genre. So in the Customer Slicer, I click CineFocus DVD. And I can see that I sold 356 DVDs to CineFocus in the Action Genre. Now I'd like to know how many DVDs did I sell to both CineFocus and Classic Films in the Action Genre. So I hold down the Control key on the keyboard and click Classic Films in the Customer Slicer. And I can see that I sold 783 DVDs to CineFocus and Classic Films in the Action Genre. Now I'd like to know that also for CineFocus and Classic Films, how many DVDs did I sell in the Action and the Adventure Genres? So I hold down the Control key and click the Adventure button in the Genre Slicer. And I can see that the combined sales to CineFocus and Classic Films were for 783 Action DVDs and 178 Adventure DVDs. But notice that, unlike Report Filter fields, it's immediately apparent which filters are currently in place, because they're lit up in each of my slicer boxes. Now I'm going to clear all of the genre filters. I'll do that by clicking the Clear All button in the top right corner of the slicer. And I can now see, for CineFocus and Classic Films combined, the total number of DVDs sold in all genres. And now I'd like to go back to seeing all DVDs sold to all customers. So I'll click the Clear Filter button in the top right corner of the Customer Slicer. And when I click, I can see all sales to all customers in all genres. I'd like to now improve the appearance of my slicers a little. So I'll click on the Genre Slicer, and then Slicer Tools Options, and notice there's a Style Gallery here. I'll choose the Orange Style from the Light Group in the Style Gallery. And I think for the Customer, I'll do a similar thing in Green. The slicers now look even more attractive. Before closing this lesson, I'd like to show you a new feature for Excel 2013, and that is the ability to add slicers not only to pivot tables, but also to regular tables. I'll click on the Data tab to view the data behind this pivot table. And I'm going to add a customer slicer to this table. To do that, I click anywhere in the table to select it. Table Tools Design, and notice that in the Tools group, there's an Insert Slicer button. So I'll click Insert Slicer, and I'll have a Customer Slicer. And when I click OK, the Customer Slicer appears. So if I wanted to filter this table to Sales by Box Office Supplies, I just have to click the button in the slicer. Here's Classic Films, here's Cine Focus. But now I've demonstrated that, I'll click the Clear Filter button, and I'll just delete that slicer, and return to the Pivot Table Worksheet. Well, all that remains for this lesson is to save your work, and I'm going to save with the new name Transactions 7. And as usual, I'll save to the folder above my Sample Files folder. I click the Save button, and you've now completed Lesson 5.8, Filter a Pivot Table Visually Using Slicers.